Welcome to Akamai Developer for Application Security. My name is Mike Ellison, Developer Advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I'm here to present you with this training course. In today's video, we will be showcasing how you can create and get started with your actual Akamai Application Security configuration. Now let's take a look at our configuration itself. As you can see here, we have configuration ID 75113, www.securitylevelup.eu. We have the last created version 1. And then in the version list, you can actually see that both version 1 is inactive. Now, of course, if you have multiple versions, this can be up into the hundreds, if not thousands, you will see which active has been activated when and where. Now, let's take a look at the actual configuration details that we have so far. So again, we're going to be specifying our configuration ID and version number one. Again, similar here, you get the same details. You see that it, when it's created, by whom it's been created, the API client in this case, and of course, whether or not it's been active on staging or production. Before we move on with our security configuration, let's take a look at the host names requests that you have available to you. There's a GET request called GET Hostname Coverage that will allow you to specify what host names are available to you to be added to security configurations. Now, these are the host names that you specified in your delivery configurations, but don't have any application security configuration yet. So it's a very powerful tool to make sure that all your applications stay protected. And as you can see here, running this request, for instance, we have api.schrodingerstudios.com and is currently not covered. It doesn't have a valid match target, and we need to make sure that we add that in there. Now, let's again look for security level up. Again, not covered right now because it's not been activated yet. It doesn't have a match target, so we need to set that up. And that's going to be our next goal. If you need an easy breakdown on what your host names are for your configuration right now, utilize the list selected host names. It's very easy to hit it, hit send, and see here that we have now www.securitylevelup.eu added in there. And we can make sure that we add in multiple host names. So now that we've created our security configuration, we need to add in our security policy that will apply for the settings that we want. For this, we're going to navigate to the folder security policies. And in here, you have the requests that will allow you to create and manage your security policies. We have the request list security policies. And again, we have a get request that will specify the configuration ID and version number. And we hit send. You will see right now that there are no security policies created, so we actually need to create one. And for that, you have the ability to clone an existing security policy or create one from scratch, the post request that we have here on the screen. And in the body, if you leave the create from security policy empty, then you will be actually creating one from scratch. And you have the policy name and policy prefix, which is a four digit alphanumerical prefix that will just make it easier for you to see that. So we're going to add in our variables. Policy name, security level up, security level up EU. There we go. And we're going to create it. There we go. We have now a policy ID, SLEU, that's that prefix, 126617 setting that as the policy ID. So, so now that we have the policy ID, you can also see the different types of security controls that can be applied here to your security policy. Other than that though, of course, you have the full capabilities of adding your application layer controls, which is the web application firewall, the network layer controls, the IP and geo allow and deny lists, the anti-DDoS measurements, the rate controls, as well as of course the slow post controls and of course API constraints if you want to have a positive security model for your API. So we're able to apply all of these settings in our policy, but for now, let's make sure that we will take a look at our match targets as well. Inside of the folder match targets, you can set up your match targets and we're going to be running the get request list of match targets here. And as you can see, there are none so far. So we're going to be adding in and you have two types of match targets. You can specify a match target for your web application this can be your websites, you can your web pages, etc., your content. And you can have an API target which is specifically designed to protect your API endpoint. Typically, this can be a host name such as api.securitylevelup.eu 
but you can also of course have www.securitylevelup.eu slash API slash and then you were creating a second target fitting that slash API star point. Now in order to get started with this we need to create that match target so we'll be utilizing the post request here. So here we have the create a match target request and of course we're doing a post request on the config ID and ver version number and here we're specifying the type this can be website or API we're specifying our configuration ID and our version and then of course we are adding in we're leaving this the same what application controls we want to add in and the file path is actually what applies to that so if your host name is www.securitylevelup.eu and your file path is slash star that means the wildcard will fit everything under that host name but again as mentioned you can specify the file path here to be slash api star if you want to have an api target or web pages or if you have a say you have a specific application cms you could do that like that and you can have a specific file path but for now I'm leaving it as slash star. Now keep an eye out, you need to fill the variable here, so we'll do that. Under host name to add, we have here www.securitylevelup. And of course you need to specify at the bottom your actual policy ID, which we've set already. So we're going to be creating that. We get a 201 created, applies on our configuration, 75113. www.securitylevelup.eu slash star on the policy ID here. And here we get a target ID, so this is our match target ID. And in doing so, we have now created a match target. We have a match target for www.securitylevelup.eu for the slash star. We have a security policy that matches that as well. And then we have the security configuration. So now we have all of our basic elements created. We've created a security configuration. Inside of that security configuration, we have created a security policy. And we have created a match target matching that. 